Start and begin. Go, go, go. Pass die, met kill. Out of green smoke is away. Fire out bright and early. Yeah, early hydro fire away from cable. There we go. Oh, Spear is claiming he cannot control the grid. Face it, buddy. You'll be alright. Haven't been shot yet, won't matter. Why well, we're in blue? Because uh, I neglected to sync the team set teams thing. So if I set the teams, then nobody gets uh, the correct capture information. I think we can all agree suboptimal. Yeah, better that it just actually works. Yeah. Even if we lose some performance, even if it's a little jank. Burble. Dorman Cleric has attracted the ire of TEC. Thank you very much, Darth. Make sure to bug me about that. Let's see. I want this dwarven doing here. Going in as a shield for his teammates, I think. Uh, I think Tiberius is back in action here. Seems to be the case. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that particular bug in a while, but uh, it is a known key bug of. Uh, Grids will just be locked out. There is a plugin for that. I should probably add. Save that for later. But uh, combat's still going up in front. Oh, appears one of the little ram ships has run into a blocker plate. That one shark bait. I forget. I believe it was. Very cautious match from both teams here. It might be that FLC was just letting uh, Tiberius yeah. get himself back together here, which is nice. Yeah, very good point, yeah. Yeah, they don't allow me to Yeah, very sportsmanlike teams here. We've been swooping around the back here, though. Almost getting caught by friendly fire Ares. Nah. Looks like Arctic 3D is about to lose the shields. And they hold. Taking the bait. Nope. Both teams standing off as long as they can. Yeah, definitely the most reserved match of the qualifiers so far. We're gonna make another pass. Oh, bonk. <laughs> oh, he takes uh, Hydra Fire now that he's been knocked out of position. Is he alright? What's. What, mate? Just sitting there. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and the push. Getting bumped out of position. Not what he wants. Here's some Sharon's for you. And now he's gone red. <laughs> I'd say that was relatively worthwhile. Nate definitely is having performance issues. That's something to keep in mind here. Yeah, 
took him a second to respond. But regardless of what happens, they're definitely going to be one of the higher seeds. Here's why Corvin did that when the rest of his team was still hanging in the bag. Uh, I believe it's so his uh, longer range ships could uh, hit the grids that are out of position. Dumping a volley of arrows directly into a blocker plate. Poor timing. Well, there's a lot to be said for making a, you know, sacrificing a pawn to make your enemies respond. Yep. And the blocker shields go down. Occupy for a whole 40 seconds alone there. Contemplative match. I was starting to go hot as FLC moving in to engage. On Nate, who is out of position from the rest of his team just by a bit, more than enough to catch the attention. Swarm of arrows out. Firing decoys. And looks like they overshot, missing just barely. Those Grims didn't, though. Oh, they did not. They're running into shunted shields, however. TEC are advancing now. Seems whoop doop is the focus. Yeah, uh, he's out of position. Well forward. Might be the best choice for him right now. He is one of the healthier ships on his team. Isn't going to be for much longer. Not gonna be able to shunt surrounded like that. Gets underneath Tiberius. Tiberius shields are down. And there's arrows incoming. For the reminder, Ropey Doop is running with 10 PPCs. He might have shut Tiberius off. Continuing to maintain that fire directly into the core of Tiberius. Oh, Tiberius has managed to get himself back online. You can see those main drive thrusters on the rear. The disabled are off. He has managed to get his shields back online, but he is taking fire. From cable behind him. DEC, blissfully unaware, as they try to go support Nate. I'm not sure what is the better option here. They might be better served sacrificing Nate to kill cable. gonna do. He's got tips right where he wants them. Gonna sail right on by. Huge volley of arrows digging right in. Exposing the CNC the in there. Well. Oh yeah. Well, well, that's not happy about that. Uh, Way out of position away from this team. Is TEC chasing a dead ship? Nope. I'm not sure if they've gone red yet. Arch could definitely do with pulling up. Those uh, those heavy cannons are better at closer ranges because of accuracy. Yeah, it might be actually the best idea for TEC to kill the rest of FLC. Just sacrifice Tiberius. Ship, I think they switch drivers. Maybe. Oh yeah, maybe. It could be an ownership thing. Doesn't matter. Dwarven Cleric has gone red twice. And he's off the board. What I should do is add an auto-remove for when somebody goes red. That might be a good idea. It was holding up incredibly well, all things considered. 
Yeah, yeah he is a tanky ship. I mean, ships, even if they've gone red, often still have functioning weapons, which could yeah. affect the battle. In that case, probably just do a, a sound clip for it. Like the Zony Wony Chan, but uh, less cringe. Arjun 3D taking a huge amount of fire to the rear. Digging straight in there as he continues his turret match with Tiberius. Lost in his own little world, his X3 is confused. Not focusing fire. Doesn't want to let up. He wants Tiberius to go red. All those arrows getting shot down. Hitting up from behind, that X3 armor isn't helping much. Oh, digging straight through the top here. One of the X3s <laughs> falling off. Explosions from the hydrogen tanks. X3 floating in the distance. Oh, that was something. That was another something. It looked important. Can't say what it was at this point. Well, I guess it was hydrogen tanks, which I disabled the particle effect on the reactor. Well, since I tried. Oh. Watch out, guys. Some friendly flying, maybe? Nope. We're shooting man Silvel's back out of harm's way. Fire coming in from Tiberius' side of the map. You can see it through the middle of the ship now. It's not working. There goes another X3, which was uh, hanging on by a landing gear. I don't know how much Arch can do about this. He is very sufficiently surrounded by a lot of heavy guns. He's taking a lot of damage. Only 13 guns left. Woof. Huh? A cable. The cable appears to be crippled off in the distance. He's at 26% HP. He might just have like a reactor and a cockpit left. Yeah. That ship is definitely not doing any work. Great streams of bullets flying off in every direction. shots here. This can't go on for much longer. Nothing. Archon 3D flying a very, very tanky ship. He's taken most of the fire from the entirety of tech for how long? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's 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 got a few holes in it now. Like, um, yeah, yeah. Just it hasn't gone red yet because there's <laughs> a little bit. Oh, there you go. Ramming him through himself. Pitch flying off. Ah. <laughs> there you go. TC might actually get the cap out here before they kill Archon 3D. Captured. That's it. Cap out. Game. It's so nice having everybody on the same page with capture. Yep, there he goes. Arch 3 finally turning red. GG from everybody. Yeah. Okay. Dang, nice. Well done. Extremely cool match. Nice ram at the start of the match. Yeah, that was a really good ram. Oh, he was repairing. <laughs> That's why he wasn't responding to getting hit uh, with a ship. Uh, interesting. Makes sense. Ship doesn't move if you're not driving it. <laughs> Shit, man. Going to clean up the, the last survivor here. That's it. Winners of the match, TDC.
Well, that went well. Wow. Huh? Fun. Um. Yeah. In the beginning of the match. Yeah, you just got frozen. I, I claimed it from Darth. Uh -huh. I sat down in my main cockpit. But I forgot to check mark the main cockpit box before Darth sat in a different cockpit. Oh. oh. And then yeah. it decided Darth owned it. But I mean, we, we checked the box. I kept getting in, and it's like, no, there's a higher priority cockpit. I don't care. This is the main cockpit anymore. And I got really frustrated with the computer. Yeah. That, uh... And then you're like, just just cut it. And I'm like, yep, yep. That is that is a old and well known keen problem. Yep. Multiple pilots on the same grid will always be curse runes. Well, I mean. That's why I'm flying the Quartal, as he shot Colin.